Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our uh, new reality. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're out of school until uh, April 10th at this point, so this is going to be our new classroom, our new uh, new environment, and we're going to use a lot of Canvas. Um, some of you may not be familiar with Canvas, uh, so I thought I'd make a video to uh, teach you kind of how to do it. So let's jump into the computer. So when you log in, you're going to get to this screen right here. Um, it's going to have all of your classes. So for me, if you're in a uh, pre-AP class, you're going to be using honors. And if you're in a regular class, you're just going to use uh, Texas History 7B Patterson Semester 2. But let's go ahead and go into the honors right now. So if you come in here, uh, this is what you're going to see. So let's switch over to student view. That way you can check it out for yourself. So everything that you need to do, I have have or I'm going to put into this module right here. Um, so as you can see right now there are uh, plenty of assignments and activities for you to do on the Republic of Texas. If you remember uh, before we left for spring break we did wrap up the revolution so now we're into the Republic phase. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, click this vocabulary instructions. Now here's it's going to take you to a Google Doc once this Google Doc opens, okay, you do not have permission to uh, edit it, but you can go to File, make a copy, and it'll say Copy of Republic Vocab, OK. Now this will be yours uh, for you to do whatever you please with it. So you can fill in your vocab just like you would if we were in class. Now you're more than welcome to use the computer, obviously, and then you can drop it in the Dropbox, which brings us to our next points. So if we go back to modules, uh, so you got the instructions, here's the Dropbox. So either you can um, click this, and uh, this is showing me everything that I can do. Um, you will need to submit an assignment. So if you hit submit assignment, uh, you can either choose like a text entry, website URL, Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, so if you go into your Google Drive, it'll be able to uh, let you do that. Or you can go file upload, or you can just simply copy and paste it in there. As long as you get it to me, I'm not real worried about it. Um, I know that some of the circumstances are, you know, crazy, and it may take you a couple times to get it. Anyway, I don't really, I'm not real worried about it. Let's just get it in. Um, so back to modules. Yes, leave that. Um, now we can get into, so you have a vocab quiz, you have a Sam Houston first presidency PowerPoint. I'm going to upload a video on that. Um, you have Lamar presidency PowerPoint. Again, I'm going to upload a video on that. Uh, Houston versus Lamar, this is a, an assignment. It's a discussion board. Um, so here are your examples. You're going to um, have Sam, uh, you're going to create basically a Venn diagram. So the first step is you're going to have a Sam Houston, a Lamar, and a same. Um, so here's an example of all that. And then you just come in here and hit reply, and you can start typing in your stuff. And then at the end of all that, after you've done the four things about Houston, four things about uh, Lamar, and then four of the same, you're going to come up here and you're going to answer this question right here. Who is the better president of the Republic of Texas, Sam Houston, Lamar, and why? Okay, and then hit submit there, and that's done. So that's that. Sam Houston's second presidency, PowerPoint, there'll be a video for that. Anson Jones and annexation, uh, there'll be a video for that. Republic of Texas map, this is just a resource in case you wanted to uh, check that out. Look at the Republic of Texas. And then at the very end of the whole unit, um, there's a Republic of Texas quiz. Now, you can go in here and uh, basically go to assignments it'll show you all your assignments okay you can go to pages it'll show you the pages I've put everything into the module too though to make it as easy as possible for you to access it in one spot so there's there's nothing crazy uh, everything that you're gonna need for each unit now once we get done with the Republic of Texas unit there'll be another unit you know statehood and then Civil War and all that uh, we'll just continue that until until we're back to school. Um, but if you jump in here and you go to the calendar, 
I have uh, basically impl implemented everything that you need to do just to kind of keep you on track. Do you have to do it in this order? No, absolutely not. But if you should choose to do it in this order, this will keep you on track and kind of limit the amount of stuff that you have to do at the last minute. So I would recommend doing it in this order and it's basically pretty easy. So starting tomorrow the 18th, complete the vocab, 19th, Houston's first presidency, Lamar on the 20th. Then Saturday and Sunday are your day still. I mean, we're treated just like regular school. Um, so Saturday and Sunday are yours. The vocab drop box in the quiz are due on Sunday night by 11.59. So before midnight on Sunday, um, those are due. And then you got Houston, Houston versus Lamar, that Venn diagram on Monday. Uh, Houston's second presidency on Tuesday, Anson Jones annexation, study for that quiz, take the Republic quiz, uh, and you'll be good to go. So that's basically just kind of a walkthrough on Canvas. Um, like I said, everything is going to be here uh, for you to, to use, to do. Um, hopefully we can keep this as normal as possible. I know it's not. Um, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to it, and I have some leniency there for you but at the same time um, if we're going to be successful and we're going to learn Texas history we've got to be on top of it and everybody's got to do their part me included I've spent the last you know two or three days uh, building all this stuff and I'm going to continue to build stuff in this uh, canvas program so that we can make this schooling as normal as possible everything's a little crazy but think about it this way if you can sit down and crank it out uh, that's less time that you have to uh, do schoolwork every day and I mean that's a plus I mean for me I'm sitting here and I never thought as a teacher I'd be uh, bringing my dog to work but uh, he's here I don't know if you can hear him wrestling around um, so I'm, I mean I'm, you know it's everybody's got a, a different role to play everybody's got a different set of circumstances and I hope everybody's happy and healthy um, and I hope that you can uh, figure out canvas if you need me I'm here my emails on well, my phone's on loud. The email's coming to my phone. Uh, I can I can get back to you as soon as possible. If you're requesting access to that document, it's because you're not making a copy of it. So you need to go in there and make a copy, um, and you'll be good to go. Your other teachers are here. I'm sure they're probably using this video too. So if you're in Miss Powers' class or uh, Mr. Parlow or Miss Mr. Turner or Mr. Thomason, uh, welcome. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of my face probably to in these lecture videos and stuff like that. Uh, but welcome. Uh, hopefully you get used to, to watching me um, teach you. But uh, I had all the equipment to be able to make these videos and everything like that. Uh, so it made the most sense for me to do it. So uh, everybody's using the same Canvas page. Everybody is uh, using the same information class-wide, class, class -wide, school-wide, Texas history. Um, so if you're if you've got a question uh, and you're not getting back from your teacher or whatever that you can't get a, get a hold of them, uh, feel free to reach out to anybody else. Uh, they'll be more than welcome to help you. Uh, it's one of those things that we all gotta you know band together and get through the virus and get through this time that that we're not actually face to face with each other. But hopefully these videos uh, will make it so you can. Uh, feel a little bit more at ease and uh, everything's explained to you so if you need me if you need anyone we're here uh, we'll be here just let us know